If you want to get skinny like him or look like... Oh, wait, no, that was classic. If you want to learn how to be an intramural ref, watch these rules right now. Cheski here with you and the intramurals. We're going to be uh, teaching guys how to ref ice hockey, um, both the advanced league with full pads and then the mediocre league um, where you'll see all the unathletic people um, with little pads. Um, we're going to start you guys off uh, showing you that there's two refs at all these games. Sometimes there will be three. Um, and myself is going to be showing you exactly how these rests will be uh, formulating themselves in game. Intramural ice hockey is refed by two refs. At the start of the game, they're going to be at the blue line. If the puck is here, this ref is going to be down along the boards, and this ref is going to stand at this blue line. If the puck is down here, this ref is now down along the boards, and this ref standing at the blue line, constantly keeping the players in a box, just like when we do outdoor soccer. No. Welcome back. Wasn't that a doozy? We're going to keep moving. If you have any questions, ask the staff. We're going to be going towards proper face-off formation. And by that, I mean the way you should be throwing the puck at the ice. Please take a look at Christopher Minnick. Look at that one more time, just to make sure you get it. In some situations, you're going to have to throw someone out of the face-off. Let's take a look at it. Now, okay. In an hour, UNE Intramural Hockey League, we do not allow the players to lift the puck off the ice. However, saucer passes are legal. Here's a good example of one. Now, Dan's going to show you an example of lifting the puck illegally. In Shinny, you cannot prevent a goal by laying your stick across the opening of said goal. Here's an example. No! Nor can the body be laid down in front of the net preventing a goal. Here's another good example. Oh! Slap shots are illegal as well. Here's an example. Let's talk penalties. Let's start with hooking. Here's an example. Hooking. Here's a good example of slashing. And slashing. <laughs> and now we're going to show you an example of the call high sticking. Sticking. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Stay awake. Here's two more hand signals you should know. Interference. <laughs> That's a Okay, next one. So stop it. Tripping. In this section of the video, we ask you, the viewer audience, to tell us what the call is. We're going to show you a clip of two penalties that are the exact same. You tell us the call.
Here's an example of how a ref should report a penalty to the box and escort the player to the box. Now ladies, pay close attention. The blonde man being put into the box here at UNE Intramurals, we thank you for donating your time and watching this film. All we ask is that you always keep a professional manner and make the right calls. One last note, I have to give a shout out to my boy Sweeney. Respect and love, baby. Respect and love. I'll always see you on Neptune. So from all of us here, where pennies are required and talent is optional, as always, you and Ian are murals.